crack on everyone happy halloween uh as you can see we're all dressed up most of us are dressed up i am the crow uh let's go around let's see what who we have today so we're gonna move next we're gonna go with my baby is my baby sister johanna i'm supposed to be Aaron jaeger but that didn't really work out what is that from for us who don't know Attack on titan ah okay Attack on okay. titan survey corpse Nerd. All right. <laughs> Nerd, shut up. <laughs> All right, uh, CJ, what are you supposed to be? What does that uh, know? Uh, well, let's see. I got, you. I got my uh, Miles Morales T-shirt with my Miles Morales replica jacket from the movie Into the Spider Verse. That is dope. And someone has joined us for a minute. Uh, Mrs. Sarah Bennett. Hello, ma'am. What are you? I'm dead. Dead. <laughs> it is 2020. It is very. It is very <laughs> <laughs> all righty so this episode we will be talking about our favorite halloween movies uh, we're supposed to have more people they couldn't make it unfortunately last minute stuff so we'll start we're going to go with the top three each individual favorite halloween movies so we will start with the newest although she, oh, the youngest of us johanna okay. that would be number three uh my number three would be annabelle then all right so uh, why annabelle what do you think about annabelle uh, it would be Annabelle 2 specifically because, like, it's a good movie, but, like, I feel like it could have been better. How so? It's not that scary unless you are, like, scared of jump scares, and it's kind of predictable the jump scares. Sarah, I see your head nodding. Do you want to add to, uh, add to that? Well, I almost added The Conjuring to my list. I, I, I wouldn't say that Annabelle herself is my favorite um, as a spinoff, but The Conjuring Universe is definitely really good <laughs> well those are for those those are based on true stories uh, this is part of the paranormal and there are and they are based on true events like abner deville horror is the same is that same couple who investigated them okay so johanna yours is annabelle too sir yeah. what is your number what is your, what is your number three um i had to go with a classic and stick with the shining um Ooh. i just recently watched dr sleep as well and and liked it um but it's just it's such a classic like what about the shining is it that you like i well i think i i have sentimental feelings around it i think i watched it when i was like nine or ten with my brother and it, mm -hmm. it was a rated r movie so i felt so like devious like <laughs> watching something i wasn't supposed to um but he's just like jack nicholson being crazy is just so delightful to watch <laughs> Here's Johnny. That, like that is the yeah. Like I will say that Jack Nicholson as here's Johnny it was an amazing scene. Um, personally, I'm gonna get lynched by the movie buffs. I think it's overrated. <laughs> um, but people, do people do people do love that movie? Don't hit, kill me, please. <laughs> CJ, your thoughts on Sarah's number three? Um, I um, The Shining is like one of the only uh, Kubrick movies I like, actually. Um, we've gone back and forth on how I feel about, about Kubrick and why I won't go into that right now. But uh, I do like The Shining, um, and I love Jack Nicholson, too. And he gives a freaking stellar. And he's classic Jack in that classic film. That is, I keep getting the Kubrick movie, but yeah, it is. Yeah, but it, it is. I, I, you know what's funny? I'm watching uh, Ready Player One, and I really appreciate that movie through Ready Player One. I'm like, this is a good, interesting movie. I haven't seen it since then, yo. But um, we will be having. Okay, so uh, CJ, what is your number? I think what is your number three? My number three. <laughs> I took so long to decide this because, like, I was like, dude, what makes a Halloween movie? Is it just a horror movie? And if it's just a horror movie, are all horror, horror, horror movies Halloween. are like some? Halloween movies like does it have to be a horror movie to be a Halloween movie anyways I took forever um so I picked some random freaking movies that I think are cool here's uh number three Idle Hands I'm on myself today I'm dangerous take a sexy girl how dangerous his hand killed us yesterday yeah it sliced me up real good a desperate guy it's my hand it makes him do things I don't want it to do and a pushy hand <gasps> sorry about your bush and you've got a comedy 
Scream like a girl. That dares to give scary movies. And now it's up to my girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? The Finger. <laughs> Idle Hands. Look at me! I'm laughing! Rated R. Opens everywhere April 30th. Right? It's like a sleeper <laughs> hit from whatever year it came out. Um, Something in the it's 90s. a stoner freaking... It's like a stoner comedy like slash kind of horror film. Like comedy slash horror film. Uh, a... <laughs> I could barely. Oh yeah, well, I think that like a demon like possesses this guy's hand, and like uh, it's like trying to like take over. I don't know. It's trying to do some evil something or whatever, right? Um, but it's just a goofy like. It's got Seth Green in it, um, and who you know some of the some who's who's goofy comedy people from uh, that time. But it's it's like a kind of a spooky good time. It, it revolves around a Halloween dance. Um, and this kid's like evil and <laughs> trying to like to kill like it has to like kill like the girl he's in he's he's into um, in order to you know I don't know you know I don't know plunge the world into darkness whatever you know. <laughs> but I remember it's got Viva K Kay Fox in it too. You got who? Viva K Fox in it too. Oh, she's pretty. Oh. <laughs> I remember seeing that trailer. I'm like, this is too scary. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Johanna, have you seen, uh, have you heard of Idle Hands? No. Oh. Sounds like Parasite, though. The Korean movie? No, the anime. Oh, we have to talk about that one later, offline. Um, and someone who is just joining us right now, Ms. Renee. Renee, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you guys. Can you, uh, can you hear me? We can hear you. Um, yes. All righty, Renee. So we're just, we just, uh, Sarah's with us today. You guys haven't been on it in the same show for like since the first episode we did, uh, like the Quarantine Quartet, the first one we did for each other to play. What is your number, favorite number three movie? Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Alrighty, cool. Watch Shaun of the Dead. Uh, I love, I love fun zombie movies. Like, there's a lot of dark zombie movies, but Shaun of the Dead is like my favorite fun zombie movie. Uh, Shaun of the Dead was one of the movies that 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 actually brought me into to love Edgar Wright. Because CJ, like, you should watch it. You should watch this. You should watch this. And I finally did. I finally, I'm like, okay, fine. So I watched it. Like, I love this movie. Um, I, it's a great movie. It's, I fell in love with Edgar Wright because of that. Uh, one of my favorite moments. Okay, John. It's time at the bar. Queen smashing the zombie to Queen. <laughs> Does anyone have anyone have a favorite movie from Shaun, seen from Shaun of the Dead? No. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on. There's Maybe too many favorites. One, to be honest, Maybe that one that you just mentioned. Uh, I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> what about you, Sarah? Joyce. Uh, I uh, I haven't seen Shaun of the Dead in a while. <laughs> so, I liked it. It's it it's the funny horror without being um, hokey about it. Like yeah. My number three, I had, to, I had to think about it for a minute, and I'm going like this way. Uh, the first one I'm with is Hocus Pocus, because again, I can't do horror, like I said, but I can do Hocus Pocus. When I first saw it, I was seven years old. I'm like, okay, this is, at the time, I'm like, this is really scary, but I can still watch it. Um, there was that scene with uh, the zombie where he opens up his mouth and really? mouth yeah. out. I'm like, oh my god, that's disgusting. But uh, Ew, that's it, gross. It, it's still a fun movie. Um, it takes place in ho on Halloween night. Halloween day, a, uh, a virgin lights a black candle. Um, it, it, it's a lot of fun. Like mm -hmm. I've, I've been watching it a lot lately, and the favorite line at the end of the movie is like, "Back green beans, what took thee so long?" I'm sorry, Emily. I had to wait three hundred years for a virgin to light a candle. That is my number, my number three. All righty. Any thoughts? Any comments before we move on to our number two? I feel like Hocus Pocus is like the definition of what a Halloween movie is, you know. I are you taking that? All right, Joey's your number two. My number two would be Train to Busan. What is that? It's a Korean zombie movie. I tell more about it. Why do you like them? Why do you like that one? Uh, I like Train to Busan because like it takes like a simple idea of, like a zombie apocalypse, but like it starts off with uh with a zombie deer, but later, like, the whole, like, population of Seoul and, like, Daegu and other sides of Korea, like, get infected with it in, like, a day. 
It all happens in, like, a span of one day. And then, like, this father, like, this father's a really shitty father. <laughs> like, his daughter wants to go see his mom because they're divorced. And then she's like, I'm gonna go to, like, the train of booze on tomorrow for my birthday because I want to see my mom on my birthday. And, like, just wait for the weekend. We'll see her later. And then, like, but the dad, like, such a shitty father, is like, nah. So, like, later that night, like, they go to the train station to go meet, um, her, or to go see their mom. And then, like, somehow this zombie gets on board. And then, like, there are a whole, like, every single, like, uh, train cart gets infected by it. And these poor passengers have to fight for their life, trying to, like, if there's zombies. Like, they're not, like, our normal range zombies. They're, like, so they're, like, athletic, smart, intelligent, fast moving zombies that don't die. This sounds really cool. Do you they're think sensitive I, to it. Do you think I could handle it, Pandora? Do you think I could watch this movie? Remember the movie I was watching that when I was mad at you and was about to leave for Boba? It's that oh. movie. <laughs> so then I, I guess the answer is no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, only two people survive. And it's the that child like, and a lady that's pregnant. That sounds like a very resident good time for everyone involved. Um, so <laughs> what, wait, what, is what, is the name of, what is the name of the movie, Pandora? Train to Busan. Train to Busan. All right. Cool, cool. Any thoughts, any questions for Pandora about her choice for number two? Okay, moving on. Renee, what is your number two? I go in with the same theme of fun zombie movies. Uh, Zombieland, the first one. Ooh, okay, why? It, it yeah. was elaborate. Why, why that one? Uh, it's just, it's very interesting to see a fun take, another fun take on uh, what life would be like in a zombie apocalypse. Like, this is like, taking place what seems like after months of a zombie zombie apocalypse and this guy is surviving and he has these rules and he comes it's gosh it's just an overall fun time and Bill Murray is in the movie like he makes a cameo in the movie and he gets killed I have, I, have you seen Zombieland 2? Because I did to watch that Yeah, movie. I did see Zombieland 2. It was good. Um, but as all uh, sequels, like the cliche for sequels go, it's it wasn't bad. But it was trying to stay true to the original. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. That's good. Uh, any comments on, on Renee's choice? Because I do love Zombieland. I thought it was pretty funny. But... uh. Yeah, it definitely is like a cl- another classic funny horror film. Um, the characters don't take themselves seriously, so it's it yeah. a lot of fun. Um, and they all have very unique personalities, but somehow seem to mesh together. Yeah, they're just a bunch of misfits that survive together. <laughs> this is true. Um, all right, does anyone have, uh, CJ, any more comments? No? All right. No, I'm good. Go ahead, sorry. Okay. I, uh, Sarah, what is your number two? Well, my number two was Hocus Pocus. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm going to rearrange my list and put Alien as my number two. Um, Ooh. Horror in space. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a fear of the unknown, I think, for part of it. And then, you know, fear of the really evil aliens that just want to, like, murder everyone. Uh, <laughs> that is... That is a, that, yes, that is a great, that's a good one. That's, I like that one. Aliens, yes. I'm going to wait to watch that movie, Pandora. We're going to watch Alien. Like, uh, any any comments on, on uh, yeah, because that's a great one. I love that show. I, like, I remember when I, I saw when I was 20, 21, 22. I just remember being like, like, oh my God. Like, I live like, good. Any comments on, on Sarah's number two? Uh, I mean, I, I love Alien, of course, as well. Like, I know we, we had a previous show where we talked about so much, uh, we both enjoy a- the whole alien um franchise actually, but yeah. Um, actually, I was gonna ask you, uh, Sarah, what scene is specifically like, like, do you stand out? When you think aliens, what scene stands out? Well, I mean, there's the the classic where the the first time the it busts out the chest, like you know, that scene? that's that's I mean, it's it's so great to the finally the horror is is achieved in that moment. They're like, oh my god, like. 
because they, they're all happy, right? They're eating like a, a snack or something, and suddenly yeah. just like, <laughs> so. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great choice. That's a great choice, sir. I like that. Sorry, I took focus focus from you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> um, uh, who then? CJ, you're number two, sir. All right. So my number two, um, classic. Um, so whatever you do, don't don't repeat this twice. All right. I said. Uh, I said my number my number two is Beetlejuice. Okay. One more time. Okay. No. No. Okay. No. That's my number no, one. No. 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 I'm not saying that. No. That is a great choice. I love Beetlejuice. People forget about Beetlejuice. I forget that 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 is a movie that exists. I remember I the read... cartoon. Good. No, I, I I love Beetlejuice. It took me a while. To, it was either that one. Sorry for stealing your uh, number one. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it it took me a while to like arrive at that. It was actually that or another Tim Burton movie, which was uh, Sleepy Hollow. I actually liked them both um, mm. a lot. Very similarly, um, they both hit me on this like this le- on a similar level um i could probably watch either of them any any time and it, a lot of it has to do with like the not just like the movie but like the movie mixed with the soundtrack too um and i like both of them like i re- i think they're both of them they're like in in like top form like in each of those movies um both uh, danny Elf- danny elfman and uh, tim burton are in kind of rare form in both of those movies. And Michael Keaton's freaking Beetlejuice is absolutely great. Like, it's yes. what a freaking character. Every time I think back to that movie or watch it, I'm like, what the heck? Like, how did they even pitch this? Like, how does this even make sense, like, to sell to somebody? It doesn't, but it, he's such a ridiculous character. And, like, he's also, like, the main character and the villain at the same time. It's such, like, a crazy, like, He's movie. a very anti-hero. Yeah. yeah, like it's it's awesome. I, I love Beetlejuice. I love the songs. I love the 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 freaking uh, reggae <laughs> music that oh, they yeah. do too. Yeah. That, that dinner scene that is so famous. Yes, I was thinking about thinking about doing this episode. I was like singing that song like all day at work, like the <laughs> freaking. Anyways, that's that's my thing. All righty, um, that's a great. Thing. I was just watching that too. I'm like, yeah, I forgot about Beetlejuice. I forgot. I remember the cartoon more than anything, but. Yeah, I remember the cartoon too. Michael Keaton is in that movie, like maybe top ten minutes, fifty top. Like he's not in that movie that much as a titular character, but I still love what? that movie. He, he's yeah, he's in the movie yeah, he is he. It's mostly about the couple, isn't it? Like yeah, it's about Gina the two dead yeah, main characters. Um, but he, he, I mean, he's more of a a means to in in their story and, and, rather than yes. about him. Yeah, but it's still though great character. Like, I still, I, I still can't believe that Beetlejuice is also Batman. I'm like, where did you see? Where was the connection from this guy to this guy? But no, Beetlejuice is a great movie. It's, it's a good one. And oh. <laughs> admittedly, during uh, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming, I could not get Beetlejuice out of my head because he, the way his voice it, when he was talking to Peter, I'm like, that's Beetlejuice. <laughs> like, a little bit of Beetlejuice slipped out. <laughs> That would be actually kind of cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, that's a good choice, CJ. I like that. Um, my number two. It's half a. It's half a Halloween movie, half a Christmas movie. Um, and it is Nightmare uh, Before Christmas, and that movie <laughs> is. It was '93. It was Angel. That movie blew my mind when I first saw. It. I remember bugging my parents to see that movie. Um, the opening scene. Boys and girls of the animation uh the halloween town scared the hell out of me like we're in halloween town so i'm like okay we, every now and then we go to Christmas Town, and I'm thinking it, but this Christmas is so messed up, so fractal. I'm like, it's called Nightmare Before Christmas. It has Christmas title, but this is a Halloween movie with a little bit of Christmas. I've decided it's a Halloween movie, not a Christmas movie. At the end of the day, um, so yeah, I, I, it, it's just a classic. Um, Jack Skellington, Kidding Up the Sandy Claus. Uh, this is Halloween. Those are my favorite. Uh, my favorite. One, my number two. Yeah. 
Any comments that you thought before we move on to? I don't know, Renee. Christmas is in the title. Halloween is not, so, you know. But we spend our time in Halloween Town. This is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> the opening line to that movie is, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, you got to watch it to see that part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's, well, yeah, right. it's it's a a <laughs> but also we got Jack the Pumpkin King. No, no? <laughs> I, he is the Pumpkin King. Right, any thoughts, Sarah, Renee? I Nora? mean, Sir Patrick Stewart is the narrator, so of course it's going to be good. So, what else do we like about Nightmare for Christmas, everyone? Pandora. I just like it because I grew up with it. It's nostalgic and it's nice and it's funny. It is funny. That is my, one of my favorite scenes is when they're giving it to Christmas and uh, a Christmas present. And um, they will always have to give you whatever little generic kid name. And then he pulls out a head. And his face <laughs> is just like, I, I, every time that kills me, I have no idea why that, 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 that. even as a little kid, it scared me, but I couldn't stop laughing as a kid. Like, <laughs> Or when they're seeing that they're going to kidnap Santa Claus. Kidnap the Sandy Claus. Yep. So now this is our final, our top Halloween movies. Do we have any honorable mentions that anyone wants to uh, that anyone wants to mention before we go forward? I have one. Honorably. Huh? Did you, what, <laughs> say what was it? Nothing. You said do you have any any honorable mentions that anyone wants to mention? And I said honorably. Honorably. <laughs> All right. All right, Pandora. Do you have any honorable mentions that didn't make it to your list? But you like people should go probably see. I was gonna say the witch because it didn't make it onto my list, but since you took my first one, I have to rearrange my list so Annabelle would be third and the witch would be second. So, and your blues would be first. So the witch is your honorable mention. I'm sorry. Uh, the witch in the suburbs, part two. Okay. Part one, part two is coming out. <laughs> Renee, honorable mentions. My honorable mentions, uh let the right one in. Ooh. Dark dark gritty vampire movie that's a good one and just to chime in on that one oh sorry just to chime in on hers let the right one in is freaking awesome it is <laughs> a great awesome movie. awesome movie i love that movie so much that is a great movie good choice everyone that's I, <laughs> any honorable mentions you got um i have the exorcist uh, texas chainsaw massacre get some good leather face in there and then a recent one, um, Happy Death Day, which is another like oh. horror comedy. I think Pandora saw that. Did you see that, Pandora? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? Wasn't that scary? It's maybe just like funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not like a scary horror film. It's like a, a comedy horror. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, do you, are you ready, Renee, or, or should we just move yeah, on? Yeah, I remember it was. The Witches, the original one, uh, which is leading up to the reboot one, because I want to watch the reboot on HBO Max. Which is already out, October 24th. Yeah. Yes. October 22nd, I'm going to watch it tonight. <laughs> tonight being Halloween. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I, I've already watched it. It was great. And how was it? How was it, Renee? Was it amazing? Is it, was it all you thought I it was? I was blown away by Anne Hathaway's rendition of The Joker. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you want to know why I got these scars? <laughs> yeah, a good, great uh, CJ, what did your honorable mention get to? <laughs> I uh, mentioned one already. The uh, Sleepy Hollow um, is one mm. of them. Um, uh, yeah, I love that movie. It's great. Um, and it feels a little bit maybe even more Halloween-y sometimes than Beetlejuice, but um, I just like it. I like, I like it. It's like, because it's kind of creepy. It's not, I wouldn't even call it scary. It's just like creepy at, at times. Um, and it has a cool atmosphere. Um, other one, other honorable mention, um, God, I just freaking lost it. Other honorable mention, Scream, the original one. Oh, yeah. Um, I was, I was a, huge screen fan. I, mean, I think the series itself didn't like doesn't hold up that well. But I remember really liking the first one and the twists and turns that it had in it uh, when I was younger. Um, I had one more, but who cares? Like, <laughs> All right. Uh, so my honorable mention is what well, I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I liked it a lot as a kid. For some reason, I don't know why it was the craft. 
like teenage witches at a high school. Like I don't, it was around that time of Sabrina, but that really like I'm like, this is sexy. It's dangerous and sexy. Like the little Catholic boy and he was like was was attracted to that. <laughs> um yeah, the craft was, was is my honorable mention. Um I had another one, but I can't remember right now either. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. But okay. That's why they're called honorable mentions because they're just that forgettable. <laughs> yeah, Renee came with with the budget. I like it. <laughs> All right. Um so we'll start with our final our top ones. Laura, what is your number one Halloween movie? You took mine. <laughs> It was your second one. Hocus, oh. It was Hocus Hocus. Nightmare for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, Nightmare for Christmas. That's okay. okay so, right. so why do you like it then? Why do you like Nightmare for Christmas? That's fine. We can talk about it again. Why do you like Nightmare for Christmas? I like it because it's, uh, it's really funny, but it's also like, oh, oh, what is this? But it's also just like nice to see, watch with like a family. It's our family tradition at this point. It really, it really is. Like, yeah, we watch it around this time. We all sit down and watch it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm sorry. I thought you're number one. All right, uh, Renee, what is your number one? Uh, well, it was going to be my honorable mention, but then uh, CJ mentioned my number one, so it got bumped up. Corpse Bride to play off the Tim Burton theme. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. You want to love why, why Corpse Bride? What do you like about Corpse Bride? Uh, because, well, you can't go wrong with Tim Burton's animation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, it's... He's really good with these dark stories, with the uh, beautiful animation work, and I just like the just the premise of the story where it's this bride that was misled, and then she kind of like finds her stride in and finds peace in death uh, at last when she realizes she's she was duped. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I I just like it. It was a fun movie, and it's sad but fun. It, yeah, it is. It, it's very timbered. I do like. I think it's. I thought it's a lot more beautiful than Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas, but I enjoy Nightmare Before Christmas a lot more than Coach Bride. Right. Any any thoughts? Any comments? Anyone wants to add to Renee's pick? I think Tim Burton. I think what's well. One of the reasons why there's so many Tim Burton picks on these lists tonight is like I think he does he does such a good job of like taking like things that are like classically dark and gothic and like turning them into what you just that what you just used to describe that movie like beautiful like this right. sort of like these gothic sort of fairy tales you know what I mean sort of a thing yeah. this idea of like this thing that's dark and creepy like that has to do with vampires or something and then all of a sudden it's like this romance like <laughs> too, yeah. but like this epic romance not just like twilight you know what i mean like something like out of a freaking out of a disney movie but like twisted it's a uh, very interesting and cool to watch i think it really uh anyone else sarah pandora I only saw the Chorus Bride once, like years and years ago. <laughs> so I remember liking it. Um, I think I liked Frank and Weenie uh, better than oh, the Chorus yeah, Bride. Frank and Weenie. Um, but that was I, another I, fun one. Yeah, classic Tim Burton. I, I mean, mostly I like his stuff. I think he's kind of gotten a little too weird recently um, to where I haven't liked his newer stuff, but uh, I, his old stuff is just classic. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't liked, I like most of his original stuff. I wasn't a fan of his Nightmare or Willy Wonka or Planets. I mean, Planets, I love Nightmare. Planets and Willy Wonka, I'm like, mm, what is it? No, uh, I don't like this. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like Coach Pride. I still think, like I said, Nightmare's better. Alrighty. So that was your number one, Renee, right? <laughs> so what is your number one? My number one, of course, is the Friday the 13th series starring my hero Jason Voorhees who just murders campers with machetes is the best funniest like horror series I've ever seen in my life so um well, before I, before you move on why is he your hero because that is right looking bring a lot of red flags for me right now Sarah why is he your hero <laughs> because he can't die he's just so like I don't know it's and he's not like that uh, like I swear if women could just learn to run without falling down, he would never <laughs> kill anyone. <laughs> like, like, 
like it's <laughs> he doesn't run after them he walks with purpose and then they just keep falling they're like a hundred percent the way they kill people like there's um the for the 3d movie jason went through a phase where he would squish out people's faces towards the camera so their eyes would pop out like it's just it i don't know it's it's so great and then the way they bring him back every time like in the fourth one they killed him the third one the fourth one a sad character named tommy jarvis digs him up and then stabs him with a metal rod to make sure that he's dead which then gets hit by lightning like it's <laughs> Like the plot lines in there are just so nuts. Like it, that is so far fetched. That yeah. Is <laughs> wow. It's just I don't know the the land like I there like Jason X the tenth Jason movie takes place in space like for I real. Remember, yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing that trailer in in, in uh in the theater. I forgot what I went to go see. We were in high school. We were high school age. I just remember it's okay. He's with his machete. I'm like, oh, stupid teenagers. <laughs> Even as a teenager, I'm like, stupid teenagers. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, yeah, you're 15 now. You're a teenager. <laughs> I say it by what I said. <laughs> and you do your makeup Saturday. Um, what else? Anywho. All right. You do your makeup Saturday then. Uh, okay. Uh, that's your number one, Sarah. CJ, you already went. Yeah. CJ, what is your number one? All right. Um, oh, and I just I remember my uh, honorable mention from before, which was Coraline, by the way. Um, oh, Coraline's uh, a great one. That's great. Freaking. Uh, oh, just to comment on Sarah's, I used to love Jason as well. I've seen all the Jason movies many times as a child because I used to love horror movies as a kid. Um, <laughs> and, I, and Jason is my favorite slasher series. And the reason why I like slasher movies to this day um and which is kind of weird because I, I don't really like a lot of recent horror movies because they've drifted away from what I used to like in horror movies, which is slasher, right? And I'm, I'm not really big into the saws and a lot of the like conjurings and stuff. So um, to segue, the reason why this is my number one is because it was basically a throwback to old school slashers um, and it's more modern. Um, and that is Rob Zombie's Halloween remake. Um, that i'm not a classic michael myers fan like um who's liked all the michael myers movies um i you know i like you know i like them here and there like i said i like slashers but i had the 2011 rob zombies halloween um his take on halloween um is one of the funnest like slasher movies like, i've seen like it's 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 certainly a horror movie but it's like a rob zombie movie so it's not like horror e in the same way that the other halloweens are um but it's just cool. It's an interesting story and like his take on it's like sort of the origin story of Michael Myers. Um, you see how not maybe not how he becomes or just see him before he becomes it and then what he becomes and then uh, just the new take on the on the story of uh, the Myers and like him trying to stalk his sister and all that. Is it still Jamie Lee Curtis in, in the Rob Zombie universe or is it someone else? No, no, it's not. Okay. Lay. But it's got Malcolm McDowell. That's not cool enough. <laughs> All right. Um, any comments on CJ's number one before we move on? Um, well, the Halloween movies are great to me. At least the the first little bit of them. Like the, there's, they get weird the, the more later they go on. But it's the the female hero, and it is not a victim because she's stupid. Like she's not some tramp skinny dipping in a lake or um like I don't remember the remake as much but like Jamie Lee Curtis stabs Michael Myers in the neck and like the only reason he doesn't die is because they don't realize that he's not like killable um I, I don't know CJ in the remake is the hero like the female hero still a, like an intelligent um she's not um tripping all over her high heels if that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's quite a she's quite a capable hero and, and they ex they even expand on that I, I, they even expand on that in the sequel which i really like it a, a lot the both of those movies are work together like like a like a trilogy would you know what i mean like they feed off each other and inform each other so like uh, i think that if you could take them as a whole and like no she's very much not a, a helpless hero heroine she's, yeah uh, 
people might say better. Yeah, so I, I really like that about the Halloween movies. Uh, that's cool. Um, all right, so any more comments before? Okay, my number. So my number one is... Oh, Renee's in focus again. <laughs> My number one is going to be this guy, the crow. Um, I just love that story. It's about, you know, it, it kind of goes back to the all Hallows Eve, like the, the spirits come back. This dude comes back for revenge to kill hit, to kill the murders that killed him and his girlfriend. Um, I love the score. I love the soundtrack. Uh, I love the gothic take of it. Um, CJ can tell you how much I freaking love this movie at Brooks. Um, I even had the comic book. I think I, I think I let you borrow it, CJ. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, I, I just, yeah, I love that movie. I love, I love the score. I love... It's it's a very '90s like male like revenge movie, but I'm like I just I love I love the the imagery that, that the director uses in that movie, um and it's it's very it's it ties to the to the story uh, of the comic book, but it's, it's still I'm just like oh this is so awesome. It's very '90s. It's very it's very neo gothic '90s, but I love it. The curl's awesome, <laughs> but it is very very '90s. Yes. Yeah. Has anyone seen the crow? I know I have to make Johanna. I have to let Johanna watch it. I used to like ages ago. But the first one, or or like the four, so or the four other sequels that came out that were like, oh god. The first one, the very first one. I had it been very young though. It came out when we were young. It came out ninety four. Came out ninety four. So yeah, we were still kids when it came out. Alrighty. Any cause? Any last comments? Anyone wants to say before we? Fr- oh, I know. Sarah, this is a Sarah episode. Sarah, your suggestions. Oh, um, what we're watching? Yeah. So before we move on. Since Pandora's never done one, I don't think we need the one either, too. It's only uh, I, it's just of what we, what we're watching, what we're coming people to watch while we're in quarantine. So let's start with Sarah. So this is yours. So the movie that I watched most recently that I actually liked um, was uh, Little Women, the the recent one, the new one. Oh. Um, Ooh, and I was surprised because I realized halfway into the movie that I have never seen any other movies of, or, or ever read the book. So things happened that I was very surprised and upset by. <laughs> like, um, but it was really, it was really good. Like, like I was upset because I was sad for the characters, not because of anything wrong in the movie. But um, yeah, I think I was more surprised than people who actually <laughs> know about this classic literary work would have been um but it was really i, I highly recommend it yeah uh my mom made me read that book when i was a kid i'm like oh but yeah, i could i the movie supported me i remember that it was boring. watch it was watch the movie. new one okay um all righty i i you know i will i wanted to because i like i haven't watched uh greta what's your name greta greta gerberg i'm sorry i meant to burn, but yes i need to see Lady Bird too well, yeah, the, there's a really funny scene in, in Lady Bird about abortion that I crack up every time. As someone who was raised in the Catholic faith, I, I find it hilarious. Renee, what's your suggestion? Well, I've been re-watching the Avatar series. Avatar um, The Last Airbender? Yeah. Uh, I've, I know CG approved. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm uh, currently on Legend of Korra, highly oh. underrated. Only good one, in my opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, why, they, they, why? They're both good in their own respects. They're both different avatars. They're both good in their own respects. Okay. Um, uh, Joyce, what are you watching? What do you recommend people suggest to watch? Uh, I watched Burlesque, and I thought it was good. What is that? It's Which a one? musical Burlesque. On Netflix? Oh, Burlesque. <laughs> oh. Yeah. With Christina Aguilera and Cher? Yeah. Oh, okay. that movie. It's not really a musical, but it's kind of a musical. Why? What about it? Do you like? What do you? What about the list? Do you like that people? You think people would like or recommend? It's just funny. <laughs> it's just a good comedy. <laughs> and nice soundtrack. Soundtrack. Yeah, I've only heard good things about burlesque. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, CJ, what did, what do you recommend? Uh, man, like for the first time. I'm like really drawn up like the last <laughs> the last thing I I'll say what I've been watching um is this random anime uh called I don't know how to pronounce it but Ahira no Sora and it's really about this short kid um who dreams of like playing being good at basketball and he really wants to play basketball like one day and he practices like and like he he's short so he can't like 
get it mix it up in the middle with other kids so he like practices so he like gets really good at like what, at three free throws um so he's like this awesome basketball player or he when, by the time he makes it to high school he's like this awesome basketball player and he goes to the school where like the basketball team like are a bunch of like delinquents and like like freaking thugs and they just like kind of use like their basketball facilities that just like kind of like f off you know what i mean and so like it's a couple of seasons long and like he spends he has to like spend like the first season like basically convincing these like these people who would rather like just kind of use their free time after school to like just kind of mess around like convincing them to like want to play basketball and like turning them into a team and then turning the team around and making them like an actual like good team or whatever it's like really interesting actually but uh i enjoy that i enjoy it. i hear a no sora i hear no sora i might check that out i'm good um what i have been watching is i actually been watching a lot of old stuff on disney plus but what i'm watching recently is a smart guy uh, it's because I'm like, I, I love the 90s. And I'm into the 90s. Uh, it's a fun show. I'm like, oh, I forgot how much of a little genius this kid was. Uh, yeah. That's what I love. And I'm also watching Kuma Kai for like the billionth time. Watch Kuma Kai. It's awesome. <laughs> all right. So anything else you want to say before we all freck off? Anyone? Final words? Final thoughts? Oh, watch Jezebel. It's a right, horror movie. It's a horror movie. <laughs> More than but that. no one knows about it. All right, before, all right, before, what is it about? Give us a little story. So, not say no to what that. What that uh, so, Jezebel, it's a, it's about this uh lady, who is handicapped, and has to like move out, of like where she's living to like, kind of like live in the secluded woods, and like but like, it's like there's like a lake that's like haunted, that is like giving her a really hard time. It's like haunting her, and she's trying to kill her. Mm-hmm. And it's like her twin that she didn't know she had a twin because the mom had to like, pick. That sounds scary as Freck. I will not be watching that. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll see you guys. Same freaking time, same freaking channel. Freck off. Mm-hmm.